The stars of Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, did not give interviews at the film's London premiere last night after the traditional red carpet was cancelled following the terrorist attacks in Brussels. <laughs> After at least 34 people were killed in the attacks on Belgium's capital, Warner Brothers decided they would still go on with the planned screening, saying in a statement, rather than yield to terror, we decided to join the film's fans and move forward with the London premiere. The celebrities are speaking out about the tragedy. Among them, Adele, who offered a moving tribute to the victims during her concert in London last night. This is Make You Feel My Love, and this is for Brussels. To make you feel my love. Witherspoon tweeted, my heart goes out to all of the people of Belgium, while Amy Schumer shared, love to Brussels. Rihanna tweeted, praying for all of those who've been affected by the acts of terror across the globe, most recent being in Brussels. Heartbreaking. I'm all into my music because that's how I make tapes. Try to make hits like it could be makes tapes. Reports this morning that hip-hop icon Fife Dog, the co-founding member of a tribe called Quest, has died at the age of 45. Fife, who was born Malik Taylor, had been dealing with serious health issues in recent years, undergoing a kidney transplant in 2008 due to complications caused by diabetes. He formed a tribe called Quest in the late 80s with Q-Tip, DJ Ali Shaheed Muhammad, and Jarobi White. The group made its mark as one of the most progressive hip-hop acts of all time. Fife released a solo album in 2000 and shared his story in the 2012 doc, Beats, Rhymes, and Life. Tributes began pouring in on social media from hip-hop heavyweights as reports of his death surfaced. Rapper Chuck D tweeted that Fife was a hip-hop and rap word warrior and a true fire social narrator. It's like they want to be perfect When they don't even know that I'm hurting This life's not easy Forget that I'm human. Forget that I'm real. Act like you know me, but you never will. I'm made out of steel. Forget that I'm human. Forget that I'm real. Priest never signed a wedding license. We're not married. I'm a hippie. The Porta Collis family is about to make its triumphant return to the big screen on Friday in My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. Now, during filming, our very own Dina got to join the cast on set where she got the inside scoop on the sequel. Hey guys, check it out. Oh yeah, we are in North Hollywood, Toronto, baby. The set for all things Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, and we're wedding crashing. that we have let in this area. Dina, you are officially a cousin. You're a portocollis now. Am I a portocollis? No, no, no. Check it out. There's John. There's Joey. Mia's in there behind the scenes. This is so exciting. Hi. Does it feel like some 15 years ago that you're back here doing your thing? You know what? Before we got together, you know, you think, okay, so long has passed, so long has passed. And then we sat down and did the kind of like the whole table reading was like, no time has passed at all. Such is life, it's a blink of an eye, and here we are 15 years later. Why aren't you in Greek Club? <laughs> Every day of my life is Greek Club. Same family, but it's a different story. Nia has delivered a story that the original fans will love. Who says a woman has to be married? You, all our lives.